What's up guys? This is Matt Watson coming to you from my home here in Melbourne, Australia. Inside, Tony, the transporter to talk tiny toilets. Now, if you are watching this, you're either curious as to how someone lives in a space without a lavatory or a soon-to-be rolling tiny homie who believes that a space for waste is a waste of space. So let me address all of you right here. When you're designing the layout for a van, it is a game of inches and you will be sacrificing space in your bedroom, kitchen, or storage to make room for a butt can. Now, even if you think your sweet cheeks are worth it, your options are still crap. There's a compost toilet, a mini porter potty known as a cassette, and a bucket with a bag in it known as a boombox. And yes, that may be the first time someone has ever said a sentence with both boombox and cassette in it and not be referring to 90s music. With whichever of those three glorious options you choose, it means the smell of human waste in a tiny space. A fragrance that certainly won't improve as you hunt for a place to dump it. And of course, you also get the privilege to physically dump it. So, to answer the question that van dwellers get probably the most out of any, and whether you call it a Lou, Dunny, or John, here is how to van life without a toilet. You want some comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson Comedy! Solution number one is a pee bottle. Gents, ladies, if you're living in a space without a gents or ladies you gotta get a pee bottle. This tiny bucket is a logistical nightmare and solely for a joke. Get a bottle with a lid that seals tight and for the love of God, label it. Otherwise, it will inevitably ruin an otherwise seamless dinner party. I cannot say enough good things about this solution. You're gonna find yourself reaching for this receptacle on long road trips, when the washroom is gross, when you're trying to be stealthy, when you're just too lazy, or when your buddy asks if you have any apple juice. Hey Matt, why is this apple juice bottle labeled P? Now, I know there are some women out there that are like, but what about us? That action forecast is less accurate than a weatherman. I've seen several Reddit posts written by van dwelling women who have found some sort of functional pee pitcher. So they're out there, okay, ladies? Just like the wand chooses the wizard, the pee bottle chooses the wizard. Solution number two is a cat hole, which is basically doing twosies in the dirt. So for the love of God, Check your surroundings. Dig a hole six inches deep and six inches wide and 80 steps away from any water source, camping, trails, or let's be honest, any other human being. Next, squat it out beside the hole. That's right, this solution comes with a bonus leg day. Then if you're not taking your TP out with you, put it in first, followed by your business and then cover it up. Solution number three is a friendly neighbor. Now I have been incredibly lucky during my exploration with the wonderful people that I've met. And as you travel, you're gonna meet some very wonderful people too. So that you can occasionally go, Hey buddy, can I use your toilet? Sure buddy, come on up. And solution number four is probably the most practical one, public toilets. Yet for some reason, in this list, it came after squatting it out in the woods. Regardless, here is my list of public poopers. Pro tip, go with the first stall. People tend to skip it in hopes to get a little more privacy. It is the least often used and most likely the cleanest. And my parents think I didn't get anything out of my college psych class. In many cities, there are outdoor public toilets. You can use a fast food franchise and the ones that require a code to get into the washroom, you can typically find this printed on a receipt scattered somewhere around the restaurant. There's always the bathroom at work. <laughs> If you're on a road trip, typically there are toilets at the rest areas and at most campgrounds that you would check into. You can use a gas station. Not only is this a great place to fill up your tank, but it's also a great place to empty your other. You can use a public library, which has the added bonus of having a ton of reading material. Although you have to whisper. A chain coffee shop such as this one is a great place to take a grande. You can use a hotel as most of them have toilets right in the lobby. All right, I've just walked into a random hotel. Never been here before. It's looking like our reception's on level one. So let's take this elevator and get there. The main floor, it said reception. There was an arrow for toilets. Here we are. Don't even need to go. But we got options. Although only use this method during the day because at night, a lot of those front doors will be locked and require a key. If it is nighttime and you gotta go, 
Just walk into a bar, one where the customers are standing and they're not charging a cover. Chances are you can get in and out without talking to a soul. I don't have a gym pass myself, but a membership to one that is 24 hours is a great solution. Most box grocery stores typically have toilets and malls definitely do usually located right near the food court. If any of you use a public toilet that I did not mention, please leave it in the comments section and help me prove to the world that just because you're living in a space without a toilet doesn't mean you can't sit on a throne. Oh, you can also use a toilet for free in an ice hockey arena, even the ones in Australia. Come on. Hey, you beautiful person. By watching this video, you are already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. If you want to go a little bit extra, it helps me out a ton so you can feel great about yourself. Just give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He is hilarious. If you're like, I love this guy. I want to see more content from him every week. Check out my Patreon page linked in the description below. But that is it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next week.